Hello and welcome back. This is Isaacs coming at you. Boom. There I am. Hopefully you've been having a great day because I know I have. So one thing is when I logged in today, I was actually out of power. And um, I believe it's because I had my builders running. But yeah, you can see I had to like jumpstart the reactor and yeah, it just it wasn't fun. Um, but I did get that rolling again so that we don't have any issues with power. Because this holds 320 and I was out completely. It was tap dry when, um, when I logged in. Anyways, today we are going to be working on a couple of things. So we need this dragon bone bowl. Bow. Boom. We need some dragon meals. I don't know how many dragon meals we need. Oh. 16. Okay. And it's just gonna... There, there we go. Just gonna consume my food. But that's perfectly fine. And then we need a dragon command staff. I've already made one of those. I don't know... Did I put it in here? Yeah, there it is. That could go back in there. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and collect that. That's just some some monies. Eh, steel. Okay, a chef took. It's pretty cool. Alright. So in here we still need to obtain a hippogriff egg. Which I am struggling to do that because uh, typically, let's see if we could do it on camera. We make this rabbit stew. All right. Uh, we're gonna bounce up here, and we feed these guys. So. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope. 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 Oh, well, that one's gone. Oh, no, there we go. We feed them. And, like, they get the heart particles. Oh, 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 we finally got one. Nice. Okay. So, next quest is to tame this thing. Um, soar through the dense jungle and can be tackled and counter... Uh, first one must catch up with the quick slithering speed and mount it by interacting it with an empty hand. If it is found flying well, with a projectile before initiating the chase. Okay, so this is dense jungle. Let's go ahead and grab our nature's compass. Now, is there a... There's a... Nope. So let's just go ahead and do jungle. And start the search. Cool. So let me go ahead and jump over to the jungle. And I'll be back in a second. So just exploring out here. I actually found this. Um, this jungle temple. So kind of neat. Uh, building scepter. I'll take the diamond. Actually I don't need the manuscripts anymore. Oh, hi. Uh, no, this one. There it is. No, ooh, that's a pretty good one. Okay, okay. We'll take some of that. Yeah. Okay. Magic writing. Create a magic spell. I'm still looking for this um, amp of thingy, the serpent thing. Uh, I'm not having any luck, mainly because, well, the forest is a little hard to see through. But I am navigating it, trying to find it. Hey, look, there's a cat over here. I'm trying to use, like, the mini map to give me an advantage. 
but it just seems like there's so many, uh, like, just different type of creatures spawning here that it's just really hard for the creature I need to spawn. So I am looking. Give me a minute and I will uh, see if I can find it. Hey look guys, an advanced vampire. Quest complete. And that's for our bounty over here. I also saw a troll. Um, I didn't think to... I think that's down here. Yeah, I troll. Um, I actually forgot to record that one. But I am still looking for that Ampa Fear thing. So don't think I've given up. I am still looking. Here's a Trollager. I don't know if we need to kill one of those. A nasty metallic taste develops in the mouth and a painful headache begins to build. You are suffering from radiation poisoning. It would be wise to hold it to discern the severity of the situation. <sighs> yep, that doesn't sound fun. Alright, um, let me go ahead. I'll make one of those in a bit. Alrighty guys, I came back to the base because, um, yeah, my radiation was a lot worse than I thought it was. So this looks like it's going to keep um, the enchantments on it, but we are throwing radiation resistance onto the armor. So these all have rad 1 on them now, um, which seems to be like the best radiation resistance because it's for heavy plating basically. Um, I don't know what else it does to the armor. But you can see over here, like, yeah, the base is pretty heavily irradiated. And then this thing is, is sending out one rat a tick. Uh, so the base is going to be even more irradiated. So what I'm working on right now, I know, I keep saying I'm going to do the introduction. But what we need to do... Is work on this scrubber we need seven more to complete the quest because the quest was for eight of them so we're missing some uranium 238 that's not too hard to get and we're also missing this borax the borax is a little bit more complicated um, basically you need this borax solution which could be gotten with Sodium fluoride solution, which is actually pretty easy. It's just sodium fluoride and water in a fluid enricher. And then... Uh, this boric acid is a little bit more involved. So that's water with diabrine, which is hydrogen and molten boron. The molten boron isn't going to be that hard because that's just melting down uh, boron. Actually, let me go ahead and grab a melter while I'm thinking about that. So then, let's see. Uh, the hydrogen shouldn't be too hard to get either, because that's, um, well, that's not the one I wanted. Hydrogen. Liquid hydrogen. Because we're actually we're actually making hydrogen over here. Uh that one's oxygen. That one's hydrogen. So I'll probably just pull off of this for that. But let me go ahead and finish making these scrubbers. I don't think... Oh yeah, yeah, the scrubbers are right here. So, we are working towards what we need. So give me one second. Alrighty guys, so I have the borax solution being made. So the way this works is that I have this melter melting boron. And then this fluid enricher making this sodium fluoride. They're both manual, so I have to come over here and put stuff in them. Uh, the... 
boron mixes with some liquid hydrogen, which I have coming in from this rotary concentrator, which is pulled from this setup I have over here to run um, these machines. So then that pulls the hydrogen and then the molten boron from here comes into here. This makes diabrine, which comes into here with water to make the boric acid. And then the boric acid mixes with the sodium fluoride uh, to make, uh, it makes an acid, a uh, hydro, yeah, hydrofluoric acid. And then it makes this borax solution. I have a fluid trash can down here with hydrofluoric acid and hydrogen because hydrogen is a byproduct of this reaction. And then we have our borax being made right there. So it is, as I said, like a little bit of a manual process because for the sodium fluoride, I still do have to make this sodium fluoride, which just is this uh, crushed value mite, which I have down here. And then I just basically take this and then I have like a, I'll set up like a manufacturer right here. So I have the isotope separator there for now. Uh, but like I'll take, I don't need any of that stuff. I'll take like the manufacturing and then I'll just switch these out. So I put 2020, put that in there and this goes and makes the sodium fluoride really quickly. So I think for those scrubbers, you, you we need to make seven of them. So we need 28 borax. So let me go ahead and get that 28 borax up and running and I'll be right back. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys back here. So I have actually the lasers. I have the energy laser and the fluid laser. The energy laser just has a connection point there and then goes to there. And then the fluid laser comes from here. And then that's how I'm getting these guys water and power. So I didn't have to run like, I have the XNet cables. I just, I didn't feel like running it. I wanted to try something different. So that's how those are run over here. So let me go ahead and grab this borax because we should now be able to finish our scrubbers. And let's start those up. This is going to go ahead and take a minute. So uh, I'm going to let this run. I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, we have all eight of our scrubbers. Reduces a chunk of displacement of it is dependent on the amount of free space around it. Requires 25 RF a tick to run. Cool, so I did need to know about the RF. Okay, cool. I think, well, oops, while holding it, it shows the chunk boundaries, it looks like. Yeah. So what if I do something like uh, not that one, that one. Cool. What if I do something like that? And then I want laser and I want conduit uh, over here let's move you over one to the left Let's move you back to right there. All right. Um, let's do something like that. 
actually, I want that in there. Minus four reds, minus six, five. Ooh, he's taking out 128 a tick. All right, 143, 120, six, and five. Cool, so that should take care of all the reds in our base over time. And again, we really shouldn't have to worry because we have four rad resistance here. And if I remember correctly, this is only giving out like one rad a tick. So between these things, yeah, see, look at we're at like 189, 177. So they, they should take care of that um, over time. And then this is already producing what? 800,000 RF, that's 99%. Uh, efficiency yeah so we're gaining over here and then I did slow down the rate at which we are getting um, diamonds by a lot actually this might even be done running I'm not a hundred percent sure I haven't checked it out but yeah as you can see here we're at 3,000 or sorry 3 million diamonds oh yeah it's gonna be a ton of money uh, basically to get us anything we need in the game so it's not something I'm worrying about this um, what I do need though is to finish up this chapter so that we can unlock Luxbor. Ooh, not like I already have one of those all right we killed the uh, advanced vampire. Those swarmers are like really nothing. That was all like nothing. Eh. Some pretty bad rewards. Anyways, we still have some uh, some time in this episode, so let us continue here. I do want to get this more thing set up, so let me figure out what machines I need. Alrighty guys, so if I have this set up correctly, if I put that there, this should start getting power. This melter is going to go ahead and melt one of these ground cocoa nibs. It's going to go ahead and boom, dark chocolate liqueur. Same thing, this ground cocoa nib should be melting out. This one looks like it's going to be a lot slower. But then they should both go into here, so we should get the chocolate liqueur and... Uh, let's do that. Because this should be... This should be the only one coming out. Nope, 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 nope. I did that backwards. Okay, something like that. Void excess. Okay, now this should run. That gets pulled out, and that gets put into here. This should start making this. Uh, extract, always active. So that's getting milk. This needs sugar, which I forgot to grab. Uh, nope, basement's right there. Issue sugar. We're going to more some more. All right, so this melter needs this. So this should come into here. This molten unsweetened chocolate from here should be extracted on brown and to put into here and then this sugar is going to come into here and then mix with the molten unsweetened chocolate and then the sugar let's uh let's help these out just a little bit and then i am going to put some speed and energy upgrades into all of these uh, which then comes into here, so molten dark chocolate, mixes with uh, the milk, and that should make some 
molten milk chocolate. There we go. And then that comes into here. And this doesn't need energy. It says right there, does not require energy. And we have our milk chocolate. So we need um, we need quite a few of those uh, basements. We need more s'more. How many more s'mores did we need? We need 32. So we need 91 milk chocolate and then 92 marshmallows. So the milk chocolate's going to be done. So as you can see, this is running. Um, yeah, everything up here is running. I do want to put some upgrades into them. But yeah, I'm just going to let them run. And when we come back next episode, we should be finishing up those more s'mores. So... Hopefully you had a good time today. Hopefully you learned something. And um, yeah, have a nice day. Bye.